uh, actually switch into what haven't we demonstrated yet. Uh, we did the major, we did the minor, we did the chord. Oh yeah, let's go into the uh, seventh position. Now I'm not going to go through all the waveforms for these, but I want you to hear what they sound like. So I'm going to go into the major right there, and we should hear the seventh added into the chord. So let's start with the triangle wave. And uh, let's actually hear what the difference is there. Right there we have the seventh, but let's hear without the seventh. Right there we're still at the seventh. So go ahead and get that in your ears. And now we're going to without the seventh. Now let's go into with the seventh. Okay, so you get the idea of how this is different. Let's uh, jump into the sine wave is pretty similar to triangle, I think. So let's try uh, the saw wave immediately. And that's with the seventh. Let's try it without the seventh. And then back with the seventh. Okay. Now let's go to inverted saw. And bring my frequency down. And that's with the seventh. Let's go to without the seventh. Okay, let's bring back the seventh. All right. So that's the the seventh. Uh, now, let's let's actually stay in major, and we'll try inserting the sixth. So we're gonna do that. I think actually that might. Well, let's let's listen to it before I make a judgment. And that's without the sixth, and then with the sixth, yeah, it's definitely there. I was, I was thinking the scale setting, and so I thought, wait, it's already there, but we're in chord setting. So that's with the sixth. Patch that. Let's actually try the sine wave again. And this is with the sixth. I'm going to switch over to without the sixth. And then back to the sixth. Bring up the frequency a little. Okay. I'm not going to do saw this time around. I'll leave a few things for you out there to experiment with. So I'll unpatch the sign and we'll go right to inverted saw. And that's with the sixth. So let's bring out the sixth. And then bring the sixth back. Okay, so it's with the sixth. 
We'll unpatch that. Let's go into Minder, and then we'll just go through a few more waveforms before we wrap up this segment. That's actually my favorite one. I think I like the way that sounds. Okay, so I'm going to unpatch that. Let's go to sine wave. Okay, I'm going to unpatch the sine wave. Go to saw wave. And bring up the frequency. So that's with the sixth. Let's bring out the sixth. And then bring it back in. Okay. Now unpatch that. And uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do all the waveforms, but I'm going to do the inverted saw anyway. Okay. So that's with the sixth. Let's sear it without the sixth. Bring up the frequency a little. Okay, so that is the minor in the chord setting without the sixth and then with the sixth. without and then with the sixth okay so we're moving right along um, there is one more before we wrap up this segment uh, and I don't want to overlook it before we go into the next segment so I do I am going to include it in this one so that's going to make this video a little bit longer but hopefully uh, you can tolerate that uh, so this one is going to be the quint setting. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to switch into quint. And then I'm going to take my triangle and feed it into there. And then remember what the quint setting does is it actually just plays the fundamental and the fifth. All right now we're in minor. Let's go back to uh, major. Basically fundamental in fifth without the seventh. So if I flip into seventh, you get the fundamental, the fifth, and the seventh. Bring the frequency down. Very musical. So let's check out uh, sine wave in that setting. And this is with the seventh and in the quint, in the quint setting, in major. Let's go a little faster, and a little slower. Okay, I'm going to unpatch this. Let's hear the saw wave. So there we have major, quint, Quint setting, and then the seventh is added. So here without the seventh. Okay. So I think you got the idea of what the quint setting is going to do for you. But uh, let's hear it in minor, just so we can be thorough. So I'm going to go back to triangle wave. So let's go without the seventh, where we're just in straight 
uh, quint setting and minor. And so I'm going to switch on the seventh. So that's with the seventh. And then let's flip into the sixth. Okay. Let's try a different waveform. Let's go into sine wave. And right there, we're in the sixth with the quint setting in minor. Let's switch over to the seventh. Bring the frequency down a little bit. And then we'll bring out both of those tones and just do the straight quint setting. And bring the frequency up. Okay. Okay, so that is going to be the demonstration of the second section of the Quantizer 2. Uh, we went a little bit longer than I intended, but hopefully this is going to be useful to you. Um, and uh, in the next segment, uh, we may do a little bit of experimenting since we have a... Let me I'll go ahead and unpatch this and I'll tell you what's, uh, what's coming up in the next one. In the next one, I thought it would be useful to uh, maybe look at uh, voltage-controlled... Uh, signals going into here because we kind of heard what a regular LFO going into there sounds like. Uh, so since I had a voltage controlled LFO, I figured why not uh, voltage control it and then hear what that's going to do for our uh, pitches coming out. Uh, shortly after that, we'll do a demonstration on the uh, trigger in and trigger out and uh, a little bit further ahead in the road. Uh, we'll look at the transpose CVN and two. So stay tuned for the segments coming up and uh, hope to see you then.